everyone. Hope you're all good. Um, so today I want to do a lipstick sort of try on show off of all Primark lipsticks. Um, so a quick disclaimer, I am wearing the same outfit as I was in my notebook haul video. So if you've just come from there or just seen that, it is the same day. It's now like almost three in the morning. So yeah, it's going good. I decided to do another video. So I felt like doing one. So here we are and I'm still all nice and cosy. And um, yeah, I wanted to do a lipstick haul because I really like Primark makeup and it's the sort of thing before where, it sounds bad, but I would have like never thought of trying it before, I suppose. I always just thought like it's too cheap to be good, do you know what I mean? Like sometimes if something's really cheap, it almost puts you off um, and you just think there's no point even trying it. But at one point I did and you know, I'm so impressed. Like I've got a few like different lipsticks today. Um, so this is just like a lip based haul. I don't tend to wear other makeup so much. I wear a bit of blush and highlighter, but for now this is just for Primark lipsticks. So I can't really comment on their other makeup, um, but the lipsticks in particular I'm really impressed with and you know, I'd pretty much recommend all of these. So what I want to do is like a little swatch thing today, um, show off some of the lipsticks. I think all of these you can still buy in stores, so if you see any you like or whatever, you can go ahead and buy them. I'll try to remember the prices, I can't guarantee I'll know them dead on, but I'll try to give you an idea of that as well. But yeah, um, so what I want to start off is with these lipsticks here. So I've got four of them. And these are the Luster lipsticks, okay? Um, so they look like this. And they've got the PS, so the Primark brand is PS, I think, just for their cosmetic items. And I've got four different shades here. Sorry, so it's kind of awkward to show them. I've got these four shades here of those ones. And they're sort of varying up these. They do have them in the matte shades, but these are all the Luster ones, and these are non-matte. I do like a matte lipstick, but sometimes I can find they can be a bit possibly drying or like they sort of clump together on the lips a bit and sometimes I like a bit of shine. So these are all just the non-matte ones for now. I do have some matte products I'm going to show in a bit, um, but for now these are just the normal lipsticks. So I want to just go through these. So as you can see, I've got them in the four shades here. So let's just start with this first one. Um, so yeah, so we can see it's like a little bullet package. It almost reminds me a bit of Jeff Star packaging or I suppose MAC. Um, cosmetics as far as I know. So we've got the shade on the bottom, it's quite small. I don't know if you can see that, if it wants to focus on there. This shade is called Barely There. Okay, and this is, as the name indicates, this is a very pale nude. So we'll just pop this one on now and try that out. My application, oh, where's my mirror gone? I have that like two seconds ago, there we go. Um, my application may not be the best, so hopefully this will be okay. So I'm just gonna pop this one on now. Okay, so I'm obviously not wearing a lip line or anything with these. Um, but this, as you can see, is a very pale nude. The only thing I find with pale ones is sometimes they can get a tad streaky. Um, but I find that even with very high branded lipsticks that I've tried. Um, but I think it's a really cute colour. I think it could be nice with a bit more of a tan or quite rosy cheeks. Thankfully I do have quite rosy cheeks a lot of the time. But that's that one. And I just think that's quite a cute colour. Uh, hopefully the lighting is okay in here to see. I'll do a little swatch on my hand as well. So it actually kind of looks a bit darker on my hand, I think almost. So we can see there. I feel like that looks a tad darker on the hand. But yeah, that's a really nice nude there. It's quite pale. So I suppose if you're, you've got a darker skin tone, it could almost blend in with your skin a bit too much. I'm quite fair, so I think for me it's um, like not too bad. But yeah, that's the first one. Okay, let's wipe this off now. Yeah, and the nice thing about these Primark lipsticks as well is that they have quite a nice like vanilla scent. It's not too overpowering, but just something a little bit sweet there, which is nice. And the formulas are all really creamy. I feel like the matte ones wouldn't be as creamy. Like, I've swatched them in the shop and they're not as creamy. 
uh, but these ones are particularly a very creamy formula. They're not very long lasting is like the main criticism I would say. Um, but you know, if you're okay to just reapply them and for the price, I think, oh yeah, the price of this, I think was like 90p, I think for these ones, the matte ones might be a bit more, but as far as I know, these ones were all 90p for this little luster lipstick here. So that was the first one that was the shade barely there. Okay. Next up, we have a slightly darker version of that. So, and this one is called caramel and it literally does look like a caramel color. So we can see that on there. And that is a little bit darker than the last one. I'm sorry if the light is sort of changing with the way I move and stuff like that. Um, I don't obviously have a proper camera right now, but I hope this is good enough to give you a bit of an idea. So let's try this one on now. So here's the next one. So we can say that it's a little bit darker. Okay, and I'll do a little hand swatch somewhere else. I've got very dry hands, by the way, so sorry about that. So here's this one here. Why did I do it in the most awkward place? Sorry, let me do it here. As a swatch of it on my hand just here. You can see it's nice and shiny as well. Okay, it doesn't look too shiny on the lips, um, but on the hand it does look quite shiny there. So that's that one, so it's called Caramel. And that is quite a nice um, nude shade, again for skin tone. For me, I, that's probably quite right. That first one's very, very pale, so if you're like super pale or you want to have a very pale look, that could be good. But this one I think is a lot more sort of wearable and also it's less streaky. It's just sort of a slightly smoother pigment, I would say. Um, yeah, a little bit almost, you, well, you can see a bit more glossy. So there's that one. Okay, wipe this one off. Again, it's got the same scent. I think all the lipsticks have that same um, vanilla scent as well. Okay, hopefully that's all off. Okay, so next up will be another one. So this is the third colour now. So this is a lot more of a pink, but I'd still sort of class it as a nude, I think, because it's not a particularly bright pink or anything like that. So this shade is called Melba. Okay, that one is Melba. Probably that's not even in focus, but I'll show you anyway. <laughs> okay, so we can see this one is a slightly older one. I think this is one of the first ones I got. Um, so it's got a bit more usage, um, but yeah, that's a lot more of a nice pink shade. It looks a bit bright in the actual um, the bar that we can see, but I think that's just the camera. It's not actually that bright. It's a lot more of like a dusty pink, I would say, as well. So let's pop this one on. Okay, there we go. So I think, again, it looks a little bit brighter in the camera from what I see on um, my, in my mirror, but that could just be, you know, lighting and stuff like that. But that's a really cute sort of neutral pink there. So let's do a little hand swatch. Okay, so again, it does look a little bit bright on the camera. I think it's just where the light is hitting looking a little bit dark, but I wouldn't say it's actually that dark. It is just like a nice, quite a subtle, quite a nude pink. Um, but it's not too like pastel-y. Um, I do have some lipsticks which are quite a like milky pink, but this is a much more of a sort of everyday pink and it's definitely more of an everyday color um, and it's got a bit of pink. So it's quite similar to, I suppose, a natural um, lip tone. So yeah, that's that one. I think with these lipsticks, I don't know if I mentioned before, but I'm pretty sure they're all cruelty free, which is amazing. Um, I think that's another thing that put me off before as well is because I, I don't know if they used to be cruelty free. I'm almost sure that they didn't used to be cruelty free, but I went in there, you know, a few weeks ago when I was picking these up and getting some more 
and I saw the little leaping bunny symbol, um, which I'll show you in a sec. I can't see it on these ones actually, but on some products later I'll show you it does have that little bunny symbol, which obviously means not tested on animals and all that, so that's really good. I don't know if the formulas are vegan, um, but you know, cruelty free is at least one great step in the right direction. And I picked up some hand creams and stuff from Primark and it's all been like cruelty free, so I'm thinking their own brand, they're sort of going on a cruelty free route, which is just amazing. And for the price as well, like, you know, there's no need to test on animals these days, so that's good. So save the bunnies and the little rats. Okay, so next up, this is the last one of the um, Lustre lipstick collection. And this, again, it looks quite dark. Sorry, the lighting is a little bit pants. But this is sort of a brownie purple colour. What is it called? It's called Rosewood, Rosewood Mauve. Mauve? 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 I think it's Mauve, yeah. Sorry, pronunciations are not my my good point. My boyfriend's always mocking me about pronouncing things wrong. Um, so, Rosewood Mauve, I think, is the way you pronounce it. So, it's sort of like a little purple brownie colour. Um, so... Let's see how this one looks on me. I don't use this as much. It's a little bit more out there for me. Um, I think I suit pinks a little bit better and I do like pinks because I'm, I'm obviously very girly. Um, so this one's a little bit different, so let's try it. With the darker colours, obviously you have to be more careful with the application as well. That's why lip liner could be handy. Okay, not going to be the best application. Now this looks very red in this lighting, but it's a lot more of, like I said, a quite a, a deep purple. It has obviously got that sort of burgundy tone, so a little bit red. Okay, and let's do a hand swatch. So sort of a purpley red, um, definitely darker skin tones would I think really suit this one as well. Um, for me, sometimes I get a bit scared of bright colours or more red colours. Um, I feel like they don't always suit me so good. But I think this one's quite cute. And if I'm feeling a bit bright or a bit bold one day, I think it's definitely a good one. Again, really nice formula. Nice and creamy. And that was Rosewood Mauve. Tell me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. My partner will when he watches this and mocks me. <laughs> right, let's take this one off. I need to get a new wet wipe in a minute. This is getting in a mess already. So those were the four normal lipsticks. And then next up, I do actually have some liquid lipsticks. I'm going to pop that to the side. Let's get a new wet wipe here. Um, so yeah, I have more, or I have a lip gloss, and then I have some more sort of liquid lipstick types. I'm sort of, how do you guys feel? Do you guys like normal lipsticks or liquid lipsticks? I know liquid lipsticks um, have gained so much popularity, I suppose, because they're quite long wearing as well. Um, so people tend to like those. Um, but for me, I don't know, it's always just standard lipsticks. I just love something that I can put on and it's like really nice and creamy and stuff like that. Um, but and I think also with application, you have to be a bit more careful with liquid lipsticks and sometimes it's like really pigmented it, it just doesn't sit right for me so I have to be quite careful with that um but I am exploring more and practicing and hanging out with it right so we just covered these four so oh, let me hold them up so we had sort of varying from the lightest on this side to the darkest one there and these are all the luster lipsticks and they're all um 90p each as far as I know they might have gone up I've seen ones for £1.50, it might be the matte ones which are £1.50, um, but for certain I'm pretty sure they were 90p at some point, um, so they might have gone up, but even so, like, less than two quid for a lipstick, like, you can't complain really, and they're so nice, they smell amazing, again, not the longest lasting, but, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is, and you can reapply quickly, so, yeah. Okay, so let's have a look at a lip gloss next, so this is one I picked up. 
and this is quite a new one, this is sort of the summer collections that, that has come out in Primark. I'm not sponsored, by the way, obviously. <laughs> um, that would be nice if they were sending me free makeup and stuff, but this isn't a sponsored video or anything, this is just me sort of hyping about the Primark makeup. This doesn't have the cruelty-free symbol, as far as I know, it might have it under the little sticky tab. Um, let's see here. But again, I am, yeah, it does, awesome. So that's just under that label there. So if we peel that down, can you see the little bunny? It's probably not the best focus once again. We do have the little leaping bunny symbol there, which I'm super happy about. Um, and the ingredients there as well, I think. Um, so this could possibly be vegan as well. So to all my vegan friends, awesome. Um, so yeah, so this is Island Escape. I think maybe the whole collection is called Island Escape. So you've got like really nice bronze stuff. I saw like they had bronzers and all this sort of nice summery makeup. And this is a really nice colour. I picked it up because it's quite pale. So I don't think it's going to be like highly pigmented. But I think it's just it's really shimmery and nice. And it is also quite a nude. So you can see there it has got a bit of a shimmer too if we can capture that. Not particularly glittery but definitely a shimmer. So let's try this one on. There's a little bit of colour, definitely. It's a bit similar to the Caramel um, Lustre lipstick. with It's got that quite nice nude colour. Again, it smells pretty good. It does actually smell a bit caramelly. Okay. I slap that on a bit, but it's all good. And so here's this one. So a lot of what we're seeing here, I think, is my natural lip colour. But then this is just putting on a sort of nude, um, shimmery, shiny coating on the top. My lips are probably a little bit red as well from obviously wiping and stuff like that. So probably, you know, whatever colour your lips are at the time, it's just going to give a little bit of a nude tone to it and then a bit of a shimmer. But it's not sticky as well. We all hate a sticky gloss and don't want things to stick in it. Or yeah, like when your hair gets stuck in it, it's not ideal. But this isn't sticky at all. It's nice. You can... Obviously still rub your lips together, it's all good. And it smells quite nice and yeah, I think it's quite nice. So you could possibly even wear it on top of lipsticks, like particularly a lipstick, a liquid lipstick that dries. And if you wanted a bit of shine on top or something like that, or add a bit of shimmer to it, definitely recommend that. Um so here it is once again. Also, I don't know if this has a shade name, yeah. Half past nude is what it's called. So I don't think I saw any other shades for the lip glosses in this new um Island Escape collection. Um, but this one is half past nude in case there are other ones. Okay, that's that one. And let's wipe that one off. I don't tend to wear lip glosses that much. I think they can be cute, but again, I think it's the lack of pigment that sort of I don't always like. Sometimes I do want something that has a bit more colour, but just for a bit of shine or if you want to wear it out on top of something else. Or in summer when you've got like a nice tan or something like that, or even for darker skin tones, just something a bit shiny can look really good on the lips. Otherwise I find my lips are just a bit boring, I need a bit of colour. <laughs> okay, so next up now we are getting on to like the proper liquid lipsticks. Um, so this one is called a lip souf souffle, pronunciation again, I think it's a souffle, I'm sorry this video is so long again, oh my god. Um, so this is P.S. Nudes Collection, okay, and yeah, it's called a lip souffle. Souffle is like a food, isn't it? I feel like it's like a food thing. Again, this is cruelty free, which is amazing. Uh, it doesn't give me much other information. So this one, I did swatch in the shop, but I feel like it's a bit different to what I was expecting. It does look quite brown. Um, as we would expect from a nude, but almost a little bit orange as well. So I'm going to obviously pop this on here. And this is obviously where lip application can, you know, really make or break it as well. You definitely don't need much of this, so I'd swipe a lot of that off because it goes a long way. You know, I just used a bit then, it's basically coated my whole lips. Just fill in the top. Cupid's bow. Okay. 
Okay, so um, they did have some different shades of this. They had a pink one, but it looked a little bit too Barbie pink for me, so I didn't get that one. Um, but I can't actually see a shade name with this, which is weird. There's nothing on the back. Ah, that's weird. But this is a sort of the medium nude tone. There was, like I said, there was a light pink, and then there might have been a darker one, so this is probably just the one in the middle, if you're interested in it. Okay, so we can see that that's a little bit more orange slightly, but still quite a nice nude. It is quite creamy, so I don't think it's going to dry. I don't think it's like a matte drying type. But it could potentially dry a little bit. I, I can't remember. I have worn it before, but I can't remember if it dries. But sometimes I like it when there's still a bit of like movement there, so your lips aren't like really like well dry. Okay, so there's that one. Let's wipe that one off. So yeah, that was just called the Nudes Collection, um, and I don't know the shade number or the shade name. That's so weird, it didn't say it. So there were different shades as well, so. Uh, the good thing about Primark is you always have the testers out. Sometimes it can get a bit messy in there where people are just opening everything, so you've got to be a bit careful, make sure you don't get a, a used one, but... Um, yeah, you can actually just obviously swatch them in the shop. Speaking of which, I didn't do swatches of the last two. Oh, what am I doing? Let's get on with it. Right, so let's pop the gloss on. So you can see very, very shiny indeed. You can probably see the shimmer even a bit more now. And obviously I've done quite a thick layer here. But yeah, there's the, the gloss. That's really nice and shimmery. Again, it has a hint of colour. Depending on your lip tone, that's pretty cute. And then, sorry, this one, the lip souffle. Let's do a little hand swatch of that one. Again, you don't need much of this as, at all. It's, it is quite liquidy, which is quite good, which means it's quite spreadable, but I don't think it's really going to be um, dry and matte or anything, so I think it is always going to have a bit of a shine. So that's just the one underneath things. It's quite dark, but still quite a mid-tone. Again, depending on... Um, how dark of skin you are. If you're a bit more tanned or darker skin, that would be a perfect nude. For me, it's a kind of more of a dark nude, but I still love it. It's still perfectly wearable, everyday sort of colour, definitely. Okay, so let's move on. So the last ones um, are, we're in a little two pack, and they were like little mini ones, and I'm all for like mini lipsticks. Like, I feel like you don't always need like the massive ones, because I don't think I've like ever finished a lipstick. Like, I probably have too many, so I'm just like, you know, going between all the different ones but I don't think I've actually ever finished like a full lipstick or a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss um so you know I'm all for getting like little mini ones because they've actually you know they look small but you've got you get so much use out of them and I'll probably never even finish these knowing me so oh how much were these I feel like these were only like two quid so that works out as like a pound each and I picked these because they had nude colors and it says one's a lip gloss and one's a lip cream but obviously they're still you know liquid lipstick based uh, prices by the way, sorry, I'm forgetting everything. This one was £2, I'm pretty sure. And this one was possibly also £2. Maybe more. Not 100% sure, but again, still absolute bargain. Like, especially when you're thinking, you know, compared to the big brands and, you know, these are still, you know, they're also cruelty free and all that. I can't complain. So I got these two. I know they also have a little pack. They just come in like a little plastic, like, packaging where you can, like, with a window so you can see through. Um, they had like in red as well, but again, I'm not sort of too much with the red, so I wanted to get these with the nudes shade. So we can see this one here, the gloss looks a little bit more pink, and then the cream, it's actually got a, like a matte, um, like, what do you call it, a matte like exterior, the packaging's like a matte colour, it's like been like clouded over, and that one's a bit more like brown. So I want to try the sort of brownie one first, the cream, because... It, it's actually quite similar to the last one we tried, so I find that this one is quite similar to this. So we'll pop that on and we'll, we'll show you. So this is a lot more, I think it's like gonna dry matte as the, the packaging indicates. But again, it still applies really smoothly.
yeah, still has that vanilla smell. I think all their lipsticks and lip products have that sort of standard smell, which is great. If you don't like it, it's a bit of a problem because they all smell the same, but if you do, it's all good. Right, I'll have to do our application. Uh, you can still move it about a bit so it doesn't like dry instantly, which is good. You know, I hate when you're like applying it and then sometimes you like go over another string and it almost like starts like peeling it off and it's like, no, it's all going terrible. So here's this one. Again, it is quite similar to the last one. They look quite different. I feel like um, this one looks a bit lighter and that one looks a bit darker. I feel like this one is maybe even more orange. But I do quite like it as a nude. I think it's quite cute. And I think it will dry. Yeah, it's already drying a lot more matte than the last one. So the other one's a souffle, so I suppose it's more of like a cream formula. Whereas this one here, um, again, I don't think it has a shade name. But this one, it, well, it says it's a lip cream, but I would definitely say it's more like a sort of matte liquid lipstick there. And that's fully drying up now. Yeah, no, that's pretty cute. I do like that one. Okay, and yeah, in a pack of two, that's pretty good. Now this one's obviously called a gloss, but um, this actually, I wouldn't say this is a gloss at all. This is definitely like another liquid lipstick, um, but not a matte one. So wipe this one off. Here's when I smear it all over my face. <laughs> And also, like, you know, I've been trying all these on. I've tried four, five, six, seven. This will be my eighth one, and my lips, like, feel fine. Sometimes, like, if you have to take them off, they can be quite, like, staining and, like, you're really trying to, like, get it off. But I've not got any problems with that. It's, like, perfect. So that's really good. So they're not drying at all. I suppose, like I said, the only criticism with that is they're not particularly that long-lasting then because they're not, like, really hugging your lips. But... If you're someone that has quite dry lips, I would definitely recommend these as well. Um, I'm drinking water all the time, but sometimes my lips can still get a bit dry. And sometimes, you know, the cracks can show up, but these don't really hug the cracks in your lips or anything like that, which is also awesome. Um, and they're just, you know, they're not going to dry your lips out, which is nice. All right, so the last one we have here is this pink one that came in that little two pack, which was two pounds. So this would also be equal to a pound then. So let's try this one. Again, yeah, it's quite a thick formula, so to call it a gloss, I really wouldn't say it was a gloss. I would say this is more of a lip cream. The last one was just more of like a matte liquid lipstick. So let's try it on. Sorry, I like, keep like turning towards the light. The lighting isn't the best in this room. I feel like this one has a different scent to the others, actually. Just smelling that. It smells a little bit more perfumey. But, like, in a subtle way. Yeah, it's a bit more perfumey. Okay, so this one's really cute. Um, so... This has quite, got a quite nice pink tone to it. Again, still, I would say, quite a nude. Especially if you're getting a darker skin tone, that's going to be a really cute nude. And depending on the lighting, obviously, it does look probably a little bit lighter than it is on camera. Um, but, yeah, that's a really cute colour as well. Sometimes with a bit of pink can be quite nice. Um, like I said, it's a bit more natural to um, normal lip colour. And I don't think that's going to dry in matte. With this one, I would say it's a tad stickier than the others. It's not like super sticky, like, you know, my lips aren't really sticking together, but it feels a little bit tackier, but it's still fine. Like, it's still creamy. I can still move my lips around, but I feel like it's a little bit more restricting to actually rub my lips together. So maybe it will dry, but I don't think it does. Um, but it's still a lovely shade, and it's not, like, particularly that sticky, you know, it's... No trouble at all, just compared to the others, maybe it's a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to do some hand swatches now of these last ones, because I'm, I think I forgot these last two. I need like a checklist to remember this stuff. Right, so this was 
the brownie sort of orangey one and then next to it I will put this pink one so we can sort of compare so what you get in the two pack and they are quite different which is nice like I said they did also have a red one I hope they do more of these in the little two pack of the minis because I love like mini lipsticks and stuff like I said I, I'd never really need full size and I like them because they're quite cute as well when they're small okay so let's look at those swatches so here they are so we can see obviously we've got the orangey slight brown on the top and then the more medium pink one we've got a bit of shine now but I'm sure it's particularly that top one that sort of browny one the nude does um, calm down a little bit, does mattify a little bit more. I'll show you that in different lighting. Okay, so that's that's all of them. Um, so I think, yeah, they're just a really good deal and, you know, I just, I'm, I'm all for Primark makeup. I'm always popping in there now because I live in the town centre, but there hasn't really been any new products, so I love to, like, see them, like, have new lipstick formulas, new colours, um, maybe it's a good thing so I'm, like, saving my money with it, but... I mean, they're so cheap anyway, it's just amazing. Like, you can sort of pick them up and try because I've been, like, I never really used to wear nude lipsticks. Um, so I was considering, like, getting some Jeffree Star lipsticks and, hint, that's a new video that will be coming. I have got some Jeffree Star lipsticks which I want to show off to you. Um, but before buying those, I was sort of like, do nude colours suit me? Like, I don't want to buy, like, you know, more expensive brands and then, you know, maybe... Like, I don't even suit the colours or whatever, and sometimes it's hard to sort of tell, obviously, until you try it. So this is why it's perfect to just sort of pop in and think, you know what, I'm just going to try, like, a really pale nude. Just try it out for, like, 90p or whatever. It doesn't suit you. You know, it's 90p, isn't it? You just give it a go. Um, so I think that's awesome, um, just to be able to, you know, try them. Be daring with colours, you know, I might pick up a red or something different one day and just give it a go. Um, but yeah, I hope they do release lots more products, but these are all of them for now. So just to recap, we had... The PS Luster lipsticks in all of those colours. We had the new collection of Island Escape in the gloss. It's gone terribly dark on my screen. Where's my phone starting? Uh, we had the Nudes Lip Souffle. And then we had the little two pack that came in the clear plastic packaging. Got the two there. So yeah, no, I'd highly recommend these. I would check out your Loco Primark if you like to wear lipsticks and stuff. And like I said, they have like matte, um, like normal lipsticks. And I'm sure they probably have um, some other stuff that obviously I didn't pick up. Um, so yeah, I would just recommend trying them out. Like I said, you can you know swatch them and try them out in store. They usually have tester ones there. So you, know, you haven't really got anything to lose. So I just recommend them. I just think they're really great. Value for money. The colours are really cute. They feel nice on the lips. They're not heavy. They're not sticky, and yeah, I just, I love them. I think they're great. Um, oh, one last thing. This as well, um, not a lipstick, but I just picked this up as well. It's a brow gel, and it's just called Define, also by obviously Primark PS, and I don't really have anything like with my brows. I just try and wax them when I can. They're probably a little messy, but I don't really want like to colour them or do anything like that because I just want it to match my natural skin, uh, my natural sorry hair colour and stuff like that. Um, but sometimes my brows can get a bit like really, do you know what I mean? Like during the day they sort of, you know, if I just got like that, they're like moving around. So this is really nice to keep them in place. Um, so just a little gel here, and obviously you just you know brush over the brows, and it actually just holds them in place in the day. And I just think that's really good as well. This was only a pound and I just, you know, tried it on a whim. You know, it's perfect with these products. They're so cheap. You can just sort of try something out. Um, and then it just actually keeps the brow in place and just, you know, looking neat. So if you don't particularly want to colour your brows, but just a clear gel is perfect just to hold them in place. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's me ranting about how good Primark is for like half an hour. So yes, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you... Uh, enjoyed the video and I hope the swatches were helpful if you're maybe interested in trying out Primark makeup I would definitely recommend it uh, if you have any questions about the products or need a recap I might actually pop them in the description again you know what the items are what the shades and roughly how much I think they were um in case you know can understand me why I rambled too quickly um I'll try to do that in the order of which I tried them on as well um but yeah thank you so much please give a like if you enjoyed or found this helpful and you know, leave me a comment, let me know if you've tried Primark lipsticks or what your favourite lipsticks are, you know, not maybe not Primark, but 
what your favourite brand of lipsticks are, anything you'd recommend to me because I absolutely love lip products, lipsticks, you know, I'm open to trying more liquid lipsticks as well. So if there's any you'd particularly recommend or think I should go and try out, do let me know. I do personally prefer the cruelty free brands, but you know, just let me know what you enjoy or what you use as well and you know, I'd love to hear about it and I will try to reply to all of the comments. Um, thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye!